Sula Tapa 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 Imanzi Lokweyam Tapa 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 Imanzi Lokweyam Imvula Tapa 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 Imanzi Lokweyam Tapa 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 Imanzi Lokweyam Kum Kum Uya Tutuma Kum Kum Uya Tutuma Water is a problem, not just a pecha in Bushwa as a whole. So what happens, we have taps that we made here some couple of years back that were supposed to supply water to us. Before the taps, we had our dams, we had our wells, we made means of getting water, even in our rivers and all that and all that. that. But for some reason, when the taps came, the, the rain stopped raining and the rivers just didn't bring any water. So here we struggle with water because now these taps are always dry. In this area, there's only one that works, but when I hear, I hear that it stopped working in April. Usually I see people, very early in the morning, they will warn each other, the water is there, and then they go. It's like gold, it's like gold water here. See, our soul of a cooler man's great girl, Ulelali, Gango Bamna, Nabantua, Nuna seven, Omnuna. Ten, Makwanana, Abang Abasukla Nabam, by Mele Ututa a man's game bombos by life sacred fin beba nun benzal, gang when you ba look, a man's awak our pumi stepping. No na you did tepe ya tin, nam dina what a man's awa pum. The comeke band your to tell a bando and a man's. But at the e hour, then a waf mana man's by when you tap. Our poor, my pinna, by a guinea tap, the pet against such a baby, a man's bang of my nang. Sister Golega, Kuluga, Kulunga, man's sister Sogola and go. Oh, go, ya, in Lemford. Oh, Vasa, ye Lemford. Young in Doyens, why Lemford. Auna Zupil, Nepilis, go by dinner was a lepilis in Jesusel and Lemford. But I can't get my head around the fact that water is a basic human right because right now, lately, it seems to be a privilege. I didn't realize this until I came to live in the village um, during lockdown. That's when I realized that it really is a basic human right before, you know, and, but a lot of people don't have it. So it has become a privilege. I wish that can change because it doesn't seem to be a human right anymore. It seems to be a privilege that only a few have. Gango ba kwa kubunzi magogo vela kwa corona kwa bekufnega amans e corona funaga solo kuchangi zanja ubondo wa kunga bena lo kuchangi zanja. Invoto bi sogo le gango gogo ba banga bu seven zili invoto chambi chenga njeman kubu vasimpa taso sabantuan. Funega lay an invoto, we born with spoon, we beg. We have our six hands, some cubutatel as an attizer of us again with his hands. We protested during COVID, during lockdown, COVID 19, um, which was in 2020, in July. I think it was July the 7th because we have had enough as villagers. We had opened a group um, a few days prior to the protest and we had a meeting, we had a, a WhatsApp meeting about what we were planning to do. We planned a peaceful protest to actually march to the municipal offices who are responsible for supplying um, the people with water. The march hasn't started. The next thing, there were tear gases everywhere. We just saw smoke and we were so confused. What's happening? The smoke was everywhere. And then there was just there was just noise, and then they were firing rubber bullets. I didn't get the fire bullet because uh, I was just grabbed. 
quickly by one of the police and then they just put the handcuffs. They made it so tight, I thought I was dying. My hand couldn't work, couldn't work for some time because it was numb all the time. Okay, so they arrested me and a colleague, Pumeza, who was um, living here in Durban Mission Village with me at the time. Um, they arrested the two of us and they put us in a, in the police station that was supposedly a hotspot and nobody was supposed to be there, where policemen were quarantined. They put us there for two hours. I mean, it's not even, if it was not even five minutes drive from where we are to, where, to the police station. And then the station manager just came and um, they just stopped and then they pulled us out from the car. They, they put us in another police van. It was so high, we couldn't climb. Yeah. I haven't shared this story for some time, so I just realized how much it still hurt me. Did the people that we're marching with, some of them were shot with um, rubber bullets. Nine of them were injured, but they were very, they were afraid to press charges, so they didn't. Pumeza and I, though, did. And then they let us out after two hours. No charges were pressed um, against us. Here, yeah, we don't think we have rights at all to anything. We don't, we think everything is privileged to us. We, we are so used to suffering that we, 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 it's like we're expecting this water not to be there. I think also we need a level of consciousness as people from villages to understand that we are worth more also. We deserve to have these things that are happening in towns. That's why they think that they shot at us that day. That's why they treated us like that, because they say, how dare, what do you think you are? What do you think you are? You want to tell us authorities that you have a right as who? That's what that message was saying that day. Know your place. We must know our place, that we are nobodies. We don't deserve to be asking them for water. The only thing we deserve to do is to vote them in the office. And then that's it. And then they hire police to come and beat us up.